The backstory of mutants who have little cameos in the X-Men franchise, part 1 of 29. In X-Men The Last Stand, what a stinker. Near the start in the church where Magneto and Pyro absolutely dominate a guy talking about the mutant cure, there's a lizard-like dude crawling up the walls. It looks like he pops up again in the Battle of Alcatraz only to get shot by a dart that turns him human, although it does look like a completely different character. Anyway, the first one, and maybe the second one, is supposed to be Victor Brokowski, aka Anol, played by Lloyd Adams. But that's all you get of him in the movie, I'm afraid. In the X-Men comics, Anol has never really been at the absolute forefront, starting mostly as one of a new crop of real young recruits at the Xavier Institute that all had big yellow arm things as part of their costumes. He's got the reptilian features, he can wall crawl like Spider-Man, he can camouflage himself like the other Spider-Man, and he has a super long tongue like Toad and Gene Simmons. He's also one of the few homosexual characters in Marvel Comics. He was also one of the few mutants that didn't lose his powers during the decimation, thanks Wanda. He witnessed a load of his schoolmates get blown up by those goddamn purifiers in that disturbing run. He had a little adventure in Limbo where he had his arm sliced off, but just like a lizard he grew it back, only much bigger, spikier and stronger. My first thought was obviously do the other one Vic, and your legs, as did Rockslide and X-23, but he didn't unfortunately. When the mutant messiah Hope was born, the purifiers went after her, obvs, and Anol was part of a bunch of young guns who went after them to see if they already had the baby. Anol used his sneakiness to break into their HQ and hack some computers before an undercover Richter catches him and then all hell breaks loose with the Reavers and Predator X to whom Anol delivers a lovely cross to the chops and all that mayhem. We'll talk more about that when we talk Bishop. He ended up in a place called Omega World for a while and over the course of that he must have gotten chopped up a load because by the end he was proper swole. And he helped out during Secret Invasion by using his sneaky camouflage skills to find ships and stuff. The boy's a decent fighter as well, especially with his strong arm. He can take down Danger Room armies with it, and he can cave in a sentinel's face. Oh, and one time he also became a little crime fighting duo with his buddy Rockslide for a bit called the X Dudes. Totally radical, man. So that's your boy and all, a pretty progressive, nice little lower tier X Man. Let me know your favourite little mutant cameo in the franchise, and until then, for now, I'm Danny Baker, this is Six Degrees, and next up, Arclight. <laughs>